When two African-American students were scheduled to register at the University of Alabama in 1963, there was fear that violence might erupt, as it had at other segregated Southern universities. Of course, George Wallace was governor and uh, was making his segregation speeches and talking about how we'd never integrate. Although Governor Wallace stood in the schoolhouse door, the students were admitted without any violent outbursts. Before the incident, Dean John L. Blackburn gathered student leaders and they discussed the best possible outcome for all parties. Those student leaders spoke to campus groups and organized others to help maintain order. The Blackburn leadership influence was born out of the crucible of the integration fire. He encouraged us to look at that problem from a different perspective. And of course, Wallace stood in the schoolhouse door. I watched that from the law library. That night after the successful integration of the university, President John Kennedy went on the air with a nationwide address. He says, this integration of the University of Alabama on a peaceful basis would not have been possible without the students at the University of Alabama who stood tall and shouldered their responsibility. And I think he saw students as agents of change and he saw a need for change in our state. So he married the two. We ought to be producing student leaders that would make change. So the Blackburn Institute is taking some student leaders and trying to put them through some special experiences and preparing them to go out and be change agents in our society. I think it's really neat how the Blackburn Institute was set up. It was very deliberate. If you look at it, the advisory board component uh, with the fellows program, it's not paralleled anywhere else at the university. And I think that was done very strategically. And that's so that the leaders of the state can connect with the leaders of the future. The Institute is fostering a situation where divergent opinions have to come together. They have to collide. They have to um, be addressed. They have to be reconciled. Um, whether that's differing opinions within uh, the Institute or different opinions between uh, various community stakeholders. Some of the folks have decided they, want to, they don't want to wait until they're 45 or 50 in, in the legislature or president of a bank and they want to make an impact now. So the uh, Daniel Scholars Program, some of them have started doing things uh, of a grassroots uh, service nature in Tuscaloosa. This past year, I was in a group that worked to create the Tuscaloosa's first free health clinic I'm in the West Mill area of Tuscaloosa. Um, and that's something that you can just do now. These, these actions and these kind of examples are what Blackburn kind of stands for, just to make that difference, make that change and work to better someone else's life. What we want to be able to do is by their time here at Alabama, they're going to acquire a set of skills. And this is based on years of research in terms of uh, the civic-minded graduate program is a model that comes to mind, um, the social change model of leadership development. We want students to gain skills while they're here at Alabama and integrate those with their academic learning, integrate those with their co-curricular activities in ways that when they leave the institution, whether they choose to stay in the state of Alabama or not, they're going to have a positive impact here. They're young and they're bright and innovative and thoughtful and caring, and they feel it in their heart to make a difference. And many of them have gone on to do that. The Blackburn Institute doesn't have a set agenda or a set of issues that it's, um, that it's pushing and that's part of the genius of it. We instead want to instill in students a structural understanding of the foundational kind of issues that plague Alabama and where we stand in the rank of states. The Institute is a lifetime commitment. Uh, the importance of that uh, cannot be understated. Uh, we have an obligation uh, to uh, fulfilling uh, the responsibility that we've been given. I think there are probably four or five hundred of those people who graduated from the Blackman Institute now, maybe even more. So we have to engage as citizens in every sector to lift everyone up and have the mindset that a rising tide lifts all boats. And so it's not about reaching down 
to lift people up, but it's about empowering others so that they can lift themselves up. We need generations of people who think like John Blackburn. Generations of people who don't just you know, sit around and, and wait for action to happen to them, but people who take things by their reins and make it happen themselves. John L. was always a power for good, and he had a favorite saying that, well, what have you done to help the state of Alabama today? There is no reason that you right now can't affect change. And as more and more Blackburn Fellows get out into the community and get out into leadership positions, I, I know that, that that change will happen to the state. What have you done for Alabama today?